Level 1, Guessing. This method involves manually guessing passwords based on common knowledge about the user, such as birthdays, names, or simple, commonly used passwords like 123456 or password. It requires no special tools or techniques and is usually the first step an attacker might take. Level 2, Dictionary Attack. A dictionary attack uses a list of predefined words and common passwords, similar to those found in a dictionary, to try and crack passwords. The attacker systematically tests each word in the list to see if it matches the user's password. This method is more efficient than pure guessing but is limited to the words in the dictionary. Level 3, Brute Force. Brute Force attacks try every possible combination of characters until the correct password is found. This method is guaranteed to find the password if given enough time and computing power, but it can be very time consuming, especially for longer passwords with complex combinations. Level 4, Hybrid Attack. A hybrid attack combines dictionary attacks with brute force techniques. The attacker starts with a dictionary of common passwords and then applies variations to these words, such as adding numbers or changing letters to symbols. For example, the word password might be tried as password123 or p at ssw0rd. Level 5, Rainbow Table. Rainbow tables are pre-computed tables of hash values for common password and solved combinations. When a user a Euro trademark S password is hashed, the attacker can quickly compare the hash value to those in the rainbow table to find a match. This method can be very effective against systems that use unsalted or weakly salted hashes. Level 6, Phishing. Phishing involves tricking the user into providing their password through deceptive means, such as fake websites, emails, or messages that appear legitimate. For example, a user might receive an email that looks like a Euro trademark S from their bank, asking them to log in and verify their password. Level 7, Keyledger. Keyledgers are software or hardware tools that record keystrokes on a user a Euro trademark S device. By capturing everything the user types, Keyledgers can obtain passwords and other sensitive information. This method requires the Keyledger to be installed on the target device, often through malware. Level 8, Man in the Middle Attack. In a man in the middle attack, the attacker intercepts communication between two parties to steal passwords and other data in transit. This can happen on insecure networks where the attacker can insert themselves between the user and the website they are trying to access, capturing the data being exchanged. Level 9, Social Engineering. Social engineering involves manipulating individuals into divulging confidential information, including passwords. Attackers might pose as IT support, colleagues, or other trusted individuals to persuade the user to give up their password. This method relies on psychological manipulation rather than technical hacking. Level 10, Exploiting Vulnerabilities. This method leverages weaknesses in software or hardware to gain access to password-protected systems. For example, an attacker might exploit a bug in a software application that allows them to bypass the password check entirely or use a hardware flaw to extract passwords directly from a device via Euro trademark S memory. Each of these methods varies in complexity and effectiveness, with some requiring more technical skill or resources than others. Understanding these techniques can help in implementing better security measures to protect against password cracking attempts.